Can't even lie, the way Raccoon did these three was vile. But when Vegeta hit him with that combo, I was sure that man was finished. Peep the combo though. This man, Vegeta hit his ass to the ground, stepped on him, proceeded to spin his ass around and throw him like he was really in his bag with this one. And then he put the icing on the cake with that key blast. I know he was feeling himself after that. He thought he had him, and I would too after doing all that work. But this man comes out the smoke with the zestiest pose in all of Dragon Ball. What is this? Imagine hitting somebody with a combo and they come out with this pose? Yeah, that's your sign to run. And that's exactly what Vegeta should've did, cause man, this man started to violate. Raccoon sent Vegeta ass for a swim, had bro scuba diving with no gear. Nah, cause why did Raccoon have Vegeta feet swinging like that? No way we doing the Prince of All Saiyans like this. Then he proceeds to throw him headfirst into the ground. I know you can't hear him, but you know he's screaming for his life right now. And as he should, cause half of his body is in the ground right now. Gets picked up by the leg, this is crazy. Vegeta really getting held by Raccoon just like how Megatron was holding Jazz. Difference is Vegeta not going out like that. Made sure that Raccoon got up off of him. Wasn't getting held in that position any longer. But bro had nothing left. I know he want to hold that left arm so bad. And you know it's trouble when you have to get saved by Krillin and Gohan bro. Yeah it was over. And the crazy part is after they saved them, Vegeta was angry. He was like, yo, why the fuck didn't you both attack him? That was your only chance. And yep, there it is, the low battery notification. Bro is holding his left arm. He on 10% right now. Then this man Raccoon targets Krillin, but Krillin is sorry, so he gets one-shotted by a kick. And the way this man slid is funny as fuck. Bro started sliding with the top of his head, and it ended with him sliding on his face. Now they ain't have to do him like that. Krillin said, oh wow, he just broke every bone in my body. With one kick too, Gohan was shook. He knew he was next. Gohan dodges a key blast, and Raccoon goes behind him and hits his ass face first into a rock. And my man starts sliding face first on the ground. Raccoon really violated though. He used Gohan's face to make bike trails. Oh nah. Hey, but you know that boy Gohan is not a quitter. He gets up and keeps going. I'm not gonna lie, he probably should've just kept his ass down because after Raccoon throws all those key blasts at him, he proceeds to go up to him and start violating and peep the combo that this grown ass man is using on a six year old. Is that not crazy? Yeah, nah, Gohan was going through it. Shit was so bad, he started holding his arm like he was Vegeta. Bro installed the iOS update, now he got the low battery notification too. And Gohan being on 10% falls to the ground and Krillin watching like, please, bro just stay down but no this man gets back up and at this point he is just walking to his doom the second i saw this i knew he was about to get hit with the finishing move and raccoon just standing there looking as dumb as rocks starts baiting him and go on just lunges at him and there it is the finishing kick and you could see it in his eyes that brother is gone and people be wondering why this man don't want to fight. That shit definitely gave him some PTSD. I know the second bro landed on earth, he whipped out that textbook immediately. He going back to school. Just when he was about to end all three of them, here comes the man of the hour. That man Goku, he just landed. And peep the entrance. Do you see this man's face? They put the shadow over his eyes. He looks like a demon. You know he's about to violate. So he gets out the ship and flies straight to Gohan. Bro knew from a mile away that that man needed help. And oh my goodness. He couldn't be any more right. That man Gohan was finished. Look at his eyes. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. The second that man went home, it was straight to the books. He's trying to be smarter than Jimmy Neutron. He gives Gohan a sensu bean, goes over to Krillin and gives him a sensu bean. He sees Vegeta over there on 10% and wonders why the fuck is he hurt? Isn't he supposed to be on their team? And Krillin starts to explain it. And then Goku is just like, Lo, we get home. Puts his hand on his head and starts reading his mind. Bro, your training before you got here was doing push-ups and punching the air. When the fuck did you learn this? So after he figures everything out, he was like, all right, bet. Gives Vegeta a sensu bean. And Krillin gets mad and says something stupid. He was like, now that you gave him a sensu bean, he's going to help them and team up on you. Like, they wasn't just violating him right in front of your eyes. Krillin, stop chatting. So after everyone is healed, he's like, I right, bet. I'm going to handle this. And this is that him movement. He's simply moving like he's him. And they check his power and that shit's at 5,000. So Raccoon thinks it's about to be light. Thought Goku was an easy lick. But Vegeta was getting scared. He saw Goku was moving with all that confidence and he didn't even have a fresh cut. So he jumped to the conclusion that he was a Super Saiyan. But he real life just wasn't. So this man Raccoon attacks him. And then Goku disappears because he's moving fast as hell. And now he's behind these two. He tells them leave all you can because I'm about to violate. They just like nah. He's like alright bet. Goes back to Raccoon. And now it's time for them to face off. Game time. We see Raccoon's high IQ in action. Bro just seen the man move fast as hell. And he's like, you know what? Let me use the longest build up to a move. He won't see that coming, right? No, what's your dumbass? The fuck did you think was gonna happen? 
Goku talking about some sorry. You are not sorry. Why is he lying? That man put your son in a blender. After dropping Raccoon's weak ass, he turns to them. And he's like, y'all gonna dip or should I beat your ass next? And Jay starts smiling on some, get a load of this guy. And since they ain't wanna leave, they immediately started their lesson to fuck around and find out. And Lord knows, they found out. I was using Kai footage, but I had to go back to get the Z footage because they cut this part out. And I see why. They didn't want the new generation to accuse this man of hacking. They're throwing punches at him and it's going straight through him. That man is not Obito. And look at how my guy is standing there. You are not in an edit. And this is my favorite part. They pull up to Goku and Jace just starts chatting. So Goku's just like, <laughs> and Bird is just shocked, lost for words. And Goku thinking in an edit again, slowly lowering his arms. He thinks his pronouns are I'm him. Then they were just like, alright, let's jump him real quick. Goku blocks both of them, hits both of them, and does a wild ass breakdance move. And then he flexes on both of them by doing a key eye push, gets them up out of there. And after that, Goku just stands there staring at absolutely nothing. Then that man Jace looks at his scout and is like, nah, this shit broken. So after they do a few more of their dumbass key attacks, this man Goku finally moves out of that spot and goes up to Burger. And then Birder started throwing hands. Goku had to show why he's a part of Weave Nation by dodging him. And then when Jace pulled up, he started dodging his shit too. He got real disrespectful, making them both hit each other, making them look stupid. And then he's like, all right, it's time for me to attack. He goes straight after Birder, no hesitation. After he kicks him, he follows up with that elbow to his spine, sending him straight down. Bro is fearing for his life. And he does the same shit that he did to Nappa, holds him up like a trophy. Then he tosses him like he's trash. Now nah, he violated.